This, ladies and gentlemen, is pro tip number two. Absolute maximum damage <laughs> output of oh, oh, <laughs> when you run. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to a top three pro tips video here to make your gameplay more effective. By the way, the third pro tip is something every player must use, so stay tuned for that. Uh, first one starting right away with the explosive expert pilot skill, making Trident and Avalanche and Sinit's very effective because the splash radius increases so far that you can bypass purple pop-up shields while simply firing at them. Let's have a look at that. So we're here in battle as you can see there's a couple of meta players with pop-up shields and I'm just gonna open fire right into the center of all this and blast them through their purple shields and that really is a great thing. Um, however it does not and that's weird it doesn't work against a Typhon robot which has an even smaller pop-up shield or or an even smaller shield itself but as you can see everybody down there in the center gets absolutely hammered just by me firing into the center with these weapons I don't have to worry about the pop-up shields uh, that are passively active on the drones and that is a really good thing because it means I have an active module um, open and ready to use I can use my active module uh, to uh, heal myself or do some other things here this Typhon has his pop-up shield ready but he's just getting blasted through that shield and I'm having a lot of enemies on me uh, but thanks to the healing module I can stay alive and keep hammering and you can see they are really giving me a lot of focus because we're in a match with a couple of pre-made buddies uh, and uh, I can I'm constantly under uh, under assault here by these champs as you can see uh, but I'm still here and I'm still delivering my firepower. More and more attacking enemies are joining the battle. There is a constant onslaught on me now. But I'm even double and triple splashing them. Look at this. They have all here around me here. Uh, just because they noticed it's money gaming. So this works with the avalanche. And it works also with the trident launcher. Um, obviously this guy is currently in his flight ability. So there's not really very much... Uh, opportunity to deal damage here. Let's walk out of this. Start healing. Okay. He's gonna land now. Gonna try and drop that shield. And also hit him through that purple shield. Okay. So this guy is also going to land. But he seems to land in safety. This guy I can probably drop. Yep. There he goes. This guy comes back out. He's gonna pop up that shield. But he still goes dropped. Gets dropped behind that shield and even behind the wall you see he's not safe my splash damage is still hitting the guy as if it was nothing and that is uh, the increased splash radius obviously we're getting slaughtered by the max meta players here uh, who would just uh, you know uh, do all of this <laughs> but um, yeah pro tip number one ladies and gentlemen explosive expert pilot skill on Sinitz if you well if you wanna I don't know why a pro would run Sinitz but uh, yeah I mean uh, if you do have fun playing it uh, it uh, works the same way and uh, obviously uh, Avalanche is a very very good example of that look we just easily dominated the entire match in this max meta with a rocket launcher which you normally you don't do all right so yeah let's jump into pro tip number two Oh, pro tip number two, if you see a Max Meta clan set up in the other side and you have full randoms, leave the battle right away. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right, pro tip number two, and this is something not everybody will be able to do because you need the immune amplifier module for it, uh, is the on-freeze immune damage uh, drone chip. It gives you 35% and the highest state damage bonus whenever you are immune to freeze effects, and you can have it twice, which means 70% damage, and that goes all the time if you manage to have the immune amplifier maybe even twice and you take a bit of damage because the first immunity you get is freeze immunity with 20 stacks and from that moment on you will have for the entire rest of the battle 70% more damage output let's have a look at this works so you can see to the left we don't have the freeze immunity yet but as we start to deal damage or no as we start to take damage the freeze immunity will come into effect it will not take long, you will see it when the, the damage boost is active twice, right? Activating healing for increased resistance, dropping this Kepri down, and there it is! Freeze immunity is now active, I think. Um, oh, I can't... Wow, does this guy have a lot of shields? Holy smokes! Uh, or I was suppressed, maybe. Alright. Um, bop! Oh, yes! There you go. 
So the freeze immunity is now constantly active. We have taken enough damage for that. And as a result, we constantly have the 70% HP damage boost. So every damage we take is 70% higher. And then we get the nuclear amplifier damage boost as well, which obviously increases to another 70%. So this guy, look how fast we can drop a Titan. Look, this is a luchador and he's getting absolutely deleted by these punchers. There's almost nothing he can do. Look, that's a Titan that we're flattening because we literally have this many damage boosts running at the same time. We don't have the freeze immunity yet, uh, the, the suppression immunity yet, but we get the immunity for uh, the freezing and that is what we want. Come on and... Pop! There goes the Luchador. And I keep getting uh, battleship support as well. All right, let's go in here and brawl. Ooh, wow. I don't know what this guy is, but he's dying like instantly. Okay, let's get increased um, resistance here and start to hammer away when the shield drops. Wait, he just had a shield and he drops another one? I think he just opened another shield within like one second or so. Full firepower here. Look at this guy. Oh! Dude, he basically got scrapped. This is with all the 300% damage boosts running at the same time. Even his fully ultra maxed revenant is not able to withstand the firepower coming from these weapons. Come on. Uh, he's coming in again with a Kepri. He wants to know if he can beat me. So let me see if we can. He's got curving bullets, but he forgets one thing. Curving bullets don't curve at short range. They only curve at long range. And... Boop, he almost died there. Oh, yeah, no, we have enemy titans and everything on us now. Two, one, and... Boop. And there goes the Kepri. This, ladies and gentlemen, is pro tip number two. Absolute maximum damage <laughs> output <laughs> of <laughs> when you run uh, the uh, on uh, freeze immunity uh, module and then putting uh, the thing on it too. Uh, the uh, obviously the, putting the nuclear amplifier onto it as well into the third slot gives you another man ma massive damage boost. Absolutely no problem, 9.3 million damage with ease. And the third pro tip is something every player must use when he has one of these robots, okay? I'm talking about a pilot skill that you can get with a level 1 pilot and you don't need to upgrade it. It's the clever or deft survivor skill. It comes at 50% purple no matter what. You can choose it directly through change a skill. And it, what it does is on robots that have multiple charges, it's called clever survival and it recharges one of your ability uses at 50%. And when you have a robot that has only one ability uh, and that is very powerful, not all robots have it by the way, but the death survivor skill it's called on robots with one ability charge at 50% it will get you that ability charge back, okay? And how this looks like, let's jump into the battle and show you. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the death survivor skill. I'm activating my ability charge now, I'm coming in, I'm taking a lot of damage from the enemy, right? I'm activating healing and you see my ability is used. But as soon as we reach 50% HP, you're gonna see that my ability charge to the right is going to instantly restore, right? And uh, I still have six, seven seconds. Okay, it will not happen now, but it will happen in just a moment. I will get my ability charge back now, pop, and being suppressing him as well, and attacking this guy. My ability is running and I'm almost at 50% health. Ability charge, now we're on cooldown, okay? But I'm gonna take damage in just a moment, and you see, my ability will come back. There it is, pam! I have it back now. And that is because of this pilot skill. It's called Death Survivor. Oh man, come on, dude. I can't kill it because of the constant uh, healing. It's gonna get... Wait, what? Oh, okay, I thought I didn't get him. So, that is the Clever Survivor skill on robots such as Mender, Pursuer, Siren, Harpy, Invader, Blitz, and some others. And on other robots, it's not called Death Survivor, but Clever Survivor, such as Ravana, Orochi, as you can see here, or Haichis, right? So robots that have 
one, no, not just one, but many ability charges. And they, as you can see here, I already have three ability charges with this robot. And when I have, uh, when I reach 50%, I will get another one for free, right? So I will immediately have an extra charge. Therefore, basically, I have one more maximum charge. You'll see it happening any moment now because I now used all my ability charges. Um, and as soon as 50% hits, I will get one more for free. There it is. Bam. I just activated it. Now I can go for uh, this dude here. I can activate some extra resistance, wait out the ability of his, and um, bam. Got him killed. I would not have gotten him killed here without this. And I'm even still in the game capturing the beacon, which, uh, bam, worked. There we go. Right? That was a massive effect. And getting back into our death survivor blitz here, as you can see. He just used his phase shift at a very interesting time. That was very effective, friend. My ability is used, and at 50%, I'll get it back. Making my effective, my robot so much more effective than it would otherwise be. See, now I can run in and get the ability one more time. I'm suppressed, though, and I'm uh, having too many enemies on me that even, even that ability was not able to protect me from this. But you still have to play careful. You can't just brainlessly rush in against a full base and expect to, uh, you know, whoop everybody. Um, you, you have a question or something? What you want to know? Let me know, because I'm pretty sure I can answer it for you. been playing this game for so long now. Um, and, um, yeah. So, let's make the best of it. This guy, he's almost gone. These weapons actually have the ability to shoot around cover, uh, or over cover, and not over every cover, but over some of them. Guess he's gonna respawn here, yep. Almost down to... F also, you can use this against players. For example, Haichi... No, Sirens and Harpies are making use of this too. If you manage to drop them to below 50% before their ability is over, then that means they won't be able to benefit from the Death Survivor skill after. You know what I mean? So, you can abuse this against other players where you know they also utilize that skill. Just drop them to 50% very quickly, and, uh, for example, uh, the Death Survivor guys, they won't be able to make use of their second ability charge, because this is something you may need to know. It only triggers when your ability is not running at the same time, right? That's the important thing. If your ability is still running, and you reach 50%, then you will not restore the ability because it's still considered active, right? So the ability has to be inactive at the moment this uh, this trigger happens. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad I was able to show you here some uh, tips and tricks. Hopefully you didn't know all of them, and if you did, then congratulations. You're definitely one of the uh, very skilled and experienced players out there. Um, and um, yeah, let me know which which tip you didn't know yet, okay? Let me know. That would be really cool in the comments. Tell me if there's a tip you did not know yet and which one it was. i really like to know. So, for now, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one and catch you in the next video. Money signing off.